what is going on guys today we're gonna be hopping back into the introduction to java course um today we'll be doing the multiple statements module so i'm gonna hit learn so more complex programs real computer programs can include thousands of lines of code in this lesson so you'll start to building more complex programs so a statement um, is basically a line of code and all statements or lines of code do end with a semicolon all right so each statement needs to end with a semicolon all right and then we can practice um, printing out multiple print statements if you guys did watch the last video um, you were expected to know how to print out um, a single line now you can print out multiple lines at once and so you have to start um, a line with system dot out dot print line and then you need to open the parentheses and then um, whatever is in and then the closing parentheses and then you of course need to end with a semicolon <clears throat> and then we're gonna put this here and boom we got it right <clears throat> now when you give the computer many statements the instructions will be executed line by line from top to bottom okay and our assignment is to drag and drop to reorder the statements so basically um reorder it how they have it so they have it head east and then turn left cross the road so boom pretty easy um and then text versus numbers so for numbers you do not need quotations um, you can just put the number directly and in here you'll see if we run the code um, you will print 500 with no errors because it is a integer it's a number so you don't really need to worry about that so this um, for words or strings you do need um, quotations and opening quotation and the closing quotation um, in um, with the use of strings and with numbers as you can see here you don't need quotations so that's the big idea and then um, make sure that you know it's system dot out dot print line and then um, you have to end the line with a semicolon and then obviously the print line statement if you've been practicing this should be ingrained into your head and then um, so Java is case sensitive so if you put a lowercase s um, it will not work so you do need a uppercase s so it's system with an uppercase s make sure you know that Okay, and Java is a case sensitive language we all know this as we've seen in the previous um, page so these are the lesson takeaways um, from this uh, you can add multiple statements to your programs text needs to be enclosed in quotes and then Java is a case sensitive language um, so so in the next lesson you learn about the structure of programs in Java so stay tuned for that we will be dropping that soon please like comment and subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day